Let's do a quick light topic because uh, these are always fun. Uh, let's talk about the Weasleys' poverty. Oh, who? The Weasleys from who Harry Potter. We- oh Ron my God! It's so, so funny you said that, and I was like, "Is he mean, fucking Ron Weasley?" Yeah, we talk about Harry we Potter. Wanna talk about, I want to talk about the Weasleys. Is it, is poverty. it because I brought up how fucking Harry could have well, bought we t- him? We, a suit. We've talked about Harry Potter a few times on the show, so okay. the show is now actively fans of Harry Potter, and the entire cast is is invited. Oh, yeah. uh, and J.K. Rowling, especially J.K. Rowling. Yes. We uh, support you. We'd love to have you here on the show. Um, we support your work. Yeah, we support you in your work. Well, most of it. Uh, the last, <laughs> the last Fantastic Beast movie was a little. I haven't checked it out yet. I, I think it's but... Sonic. Can, can, can you watch it if you haven't seen the first two? No. Uh, this one. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's you know what. Honest, You're right. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, the, the events of the first of the last two movies have no impact on Be- like characters are introduced and killed off in the previous. Oh my movie. god, that's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, what? Why was this like? Was this just for us to like? Where was the bill? Like into, it, like it really because she's doing a lot some of the screenwriting on this more than she did on like the movie series. Okay, yeah. But the thing is, is when they're do when they were doing the screenwriting for the movie series, they were omitting stuff. That she would that you know that stuff that I had she added into all this ancillary stuff that added to the plot, right? You know, like the, the death book, day yeah. party, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But when they made the movies, like, oh well, none of this stuff is necessary. But now that she's one of the screenwriters, there's no one to sit there and tell her, yeah, this isn't really necessary. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. She's like, it's character building. <laughs> yeah. Um, that being said, you still have uh, open some invitations. Of the, some of the backstory for some of the, the plot, or for some of the ties is getting lost because it's rough. Yeah. So let's talk about Whatever. the Weasley's poverty. Yeah. Because really funny. the immediate thing that catches the attention of, well, what's up with the Weasley's poverty? Because I don't think it should just be, oh, well, they're just poor. Because... Arthur Weasley works for the Ministry of Work Magic. At the Ministry. Yeah, that is a high-paying job for... Like, there is never a, I, a wizard that is shown to not, like, be pretty well off. I, I kid you from not. From the Ministry. So, I, I, uh, it was probably, like, two weeks ago now, but I rewatched Goblet of Fire, yeah, right, and right. I was thinking the exact same thing. I was like, well, wait a minute. So, he works at the Ministry, and he gets tickets for, like, this, like, awesome event, and they're literally sitting in, like, the worst seats you can possibly get. You know, there's like, oh, I don't think well, there, I don't think I, there was actually good seats to that Quidditch match. Not technically, not technically. <laughs> like but, I saw the size of that stadium, there were no good seats. But but, okay, it, but, I, but it's just that it's just that thing that um that is like super relatable because Ron says this thing where like, how many like how high are we going? Because you know that's like a, if you go to like any sporting yeah. events, it's like yeah, well no how leads, high yeah. exactly? So I I liked how you know you're able to relate to that, and so yeah, it just made me think. It's like oh, wait a minute, like why why can't he get better seats? Like he does have like so Malfoy is an only child. Yeah, Ron is the youngest boy of six, and there's still six a He's seventh like, girl. Jeez Louise. So seven so, kids. That's seven why. kids. <laughs> Not only that, but but there but there was. So I don't I don't know the context of of what it was, but um. I forgot, like, the one dude with, like, the, the janky eye and stuff. And, Moody, Moody? Yeah, Moody. So he had said something about how Ron's dad gave the ministry a, tr- like, uh, a bit of trouble um, with one of the curses uh, back in the day. So when, when I heard him say that, like, I kind of inferred, like, oh, maybe they gave him, like, a lower position or something. Well, he does work in the ma- department of, like, muggles. With muggles. Yeah. yeah. They don't give a shit about it. <laughs> yeah, because the, mugg- the wizards are all still racist. We don't talk about that enough. <laughs> no. Um, but that being said, I still want to talk about what is obviously the gradual poverty of the Weasleys. Because, think about it. The first Weasley, what was it, Bill? Bill. Bill probably had a relatively okay uh, experience at Hogwarts. Didn't yeah. have any hand-me-downs. You know, he was the one that got all the first shit. Yeah. I mean, I think it's kind of interesting, too, that Ron got like one of the oldest hand-me-downs instead of one from like the eldest brother that's just it there were so many of them which ones were getting you know new hand-me-downs that's true too mm. that, 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 that's a good point well then again the, was, the, the twins was... but but the twins both wore the same thing so that... i think the twins probably would have had to get like their own new shit because they were twins yes probably. and then ron was probably rocking all of piercy's old shit <laughs> which was probably charlie's shit beforehand yeah 
Bill and Charlie's ship beforehand, yeah. and then the the twins, the twins, they yeah. The t- the print, the twins probably got new shit. The, and that's why they always had a chip on. That's probably why they always had a chip on their actually, shoulder. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because they had to buy two of everything for the twins. Yeah, and then I'm assuming like they they got old enough just to become like the new middle childs. Yeah. And. And yeah, mi- mi- I, like, I just I just middle, had this middle like twin. I'm I'm really mad that there was never like a shot of like. A, like a sweeping pan of like family photos that have been great of like them gradually like you know getting more kids oh my but, god like as the as they get more kids they look more disheveled yeah. <laughs> and, like unhappy <laughs> they kind of like uh, uh, and then, like by the time you get to the, lot, right but... and then you get to the picture with like they finally have Ginny and molly's all happy in the center and the boys are just like <laughs> <laughs> You know, one of them's holding a baby Ron upside down. <laughs> That's great. That's really great. That would have been awesome. Uh, that had been so funny. I would have loved Harry to pan through that. Right, just like... <laughs> yeah, progressively worse. You just, and you just see the impression like, oh. Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh. No, but but there there are definitely like a fair amount of reasons for for their their poor situation. Oh yeah, no. Fucking yeah. is one of them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't have twelve kids and uh, not cheaper by the dozen. I think it was a it was a, it was a gag that uh Molly wanted a girl. So it was the gag that Molly wanted a girl. So it was that was pretty good. So until, she... until they got Ginny. Yep. So she made them poor. <laughs> it was Ginny that drove the Weasleys to poverty. You know what? It checks out, though. <laughs> All right. Like, that's why they were so desperate to have her marry Harry. It's like, he can get his money. <laughs> oh, he my God. Him. Oh, they're too honest. <laughs> did, you, did you guys read that? that um, um, oh, my God. I'm forgetting the name now. Uh, creator of Harry Potter. Uh, Jake Jake Rowling. There you go, Rowling. I just keep sh- yeah. scratching you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You can't see, but like I'm just like leaving claw marks in Annika's <laughs> arm. Um, you should see the other guy. Uh, <laughs> but no, just that J.K. Rowling was like, oh yeah, I should have made uh, Hermione and Harry hook up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was here like you don't say. Really? <laughs> and then you even watch the movie, and the, it's like, why are you like, shocked? I'm literally Imagine my shocks. So <laughs> mad because again, in Goblet of Fire, Hermione is there for him two hundred percent, like through everything, like even when she's mad and stuff, she's like always there for him. I'm just like, these were the signs. These were the signs. Well, and then, like in in book six, when she's like all mad at Ron, she's like leaning on Harry the whole time, or Dying. like even in the movie rather. And then, like, there's the whole like, oh, well, like, why don't we go to the fucking the Slughorn fucking thing together? And she was like, oh shit, why didn't I think of that? And it's like, <sighs> I don't know, why didn't you? Smart a switch of her age. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it it pissed me off. Like she she was on his shoulder like the entire movie, and I was just like, "You really missed your shot." Yeah, it was it was pretty. Uh... Yeah, and I didn't I didn't care like on like the first time I experienced the whole thing, but then like on yeah. my second or third rewatch, I was like, "Why the fuck did it Harry and her mind? like what what the hell was the point?" Yeah, Ron would have in the real world, Ron would have never bagged her money. Nope. <laughs> Come on. I stamp. Yep. Nope. <laughs> now, now that's when this starts becoming fictional. <laughs> Cormac <laughs> had a better chance. That's how you know this is a fantasy story. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the magic. <laughs> it was Ron getting her money at the end. <laughs> it wasn't the giant snake. It wasn't the phoenix. It was that Ron got the girl. I never thought I'd have a, dil- a hill to die on. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. Okay. You fucked up, JK. 